Today's video, I'm gonna do a quick rundown of all the tools that are currently in One Arm Robber, and I'm gonna put them into a tier list with F being the lowest and S being the best. And I'm gonna break them into three categories. We have the lock picking category, the drill category, and the miscellaneous category. The first category we're gonna tackle is the lock picking category, and the first item we're gonna talk about is the basic lock pick. The basic lock pick looks like a screwdriver that you found off the ground, and it works just like a screwdriver, barely working, but gets the job done. It can open up doors and display cases, but it can't open up vault doors or doors that require a key card. Just like its name, it is as basic as it gets, unlocking stuff really, really slow. And with some of the lock picks that you can unlock later down the road, I would give this a tier of D ranking where it just barely passes as a lock pick. You'd be better off getting Daphne from Scooby-Doo to unlocking a vault door with a credit card. Moving on from the basic lock pick, we have the advanced lock pick. And the advanced lock pick is miles ahead of the basic lock pick. Able to do what the basic lock pick does, but much faster. For starters, the look of the advanced lock pick either looks like a Swiss Army knife or the key to a car. So I recommend if you're doing heist stealthily, get the advanced lock pick as quick as you can to speed up your process through the heist. Now, if there was not another lock pick after this, I would give it a higher tier, but I'm gonna go with the B tier because it gets the job done but we can get much faster. Which goes to our final lock pick in the category, the expert lock pick. Like its name, it is God tier in this category. It is much faster than advanced lock pick, and its design is based off of real lock picks that are banned off of Amazon for working too well. Which means I'll give the expert lock pick an S rating, meaning you'll never go back to any other lock pick if you wanna do it heist stealthily. And this concludes the lock picking category. And the next category we're gonna talk about is the drill category. Starting off with the basic drill. For a basic that we can use drills stealthily, but you gotta remember they generate noise when you're using them. So most of the time when we think about drilling, we think about doing the heist loud. Like its quiet counterpart, I drills can unlock locked doors, display cases, but one step further, it can unlock vault doors. But it takes a really long time. So with the tier list of D-raking, where it just barely passes, but gets the job done. Which moves on to the next item, the angle grinder. Works exactly just like the basic drill, but it goes a little bit faster than the basic drill. As you can see by the video, we're gonna compare the two items. On the left, we have the basic drill. On the right, we have the angle grinder. And as you can see, the angle grinder gets through the locks much faster. So with that in tow, I would give the angle grinder a B rating. And we'll move on to the sticky drill, which looks like a regular basic drill, but has a suction cup on it. So you can just put it on a lock and just walk away and it'll do it for you. I also think that the sticky drill is a sleeper in this category for all the amazing things that it can do. For starters, like the other drills in this category, you don't have to hold it in place to use it. You'll just have to stick it on a lock and it'll do it for you. Secondly, if you place it on the top lock of a vault door, after it's done drilling, it'll fall down to the second lock for you. This way, while the vault door is being drilled, I can go into the next phase of my heist. And third, if you're going through the heist loud and you place the sticky drill on a lock and you have the drill safety skill, since you place it on a lock, you'll get the bonus of the drill safety skill, which means you'll take no damage for a certain amount of seconds depending on the tier you have. This way you can place it on a lock and fight the cops off without having your back turned. For all these reasons, this is why I give the sticky drill an A plus rating. Which moves on to the final tool in this category, the concrete breaker, this hunk of metal. If there's one good quality about the concrete breaker, it's speed, 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 speed. I mean, if you compare it to all the rest of the drills, it is no contest that the concrete breaker wins in all categories related to speed. But the problem with the concrete breaker is its massive size. Unlike the previous drills, which can fit into a loot bag, the concrete breaker, with a little bit of finesse, can fit into a loot bag, but most of the time, it falls out. I would say the concrete breaker is the meme of this category for its big hulking size, but it gets the job done regarding speed. And for that, I'll give the concrete breaker a tier of A. Which brings us to the final category, the miscellaneous category, which can be both used in stealth heist and loud heist. The first tool in this category we're gonna talk about is the battering ram. The battering ram can be used on most doors except doors that are power locked and the vault doors. You can pound, 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 pound away, that door won't open. But it can be used on doors that require key cards. You can also throw this battering ram so you don't have to be next to the door when you break it. Also, if you're doing a no killing run, you can use it to break windows to distract guards. Since most heists, you can break down most of the doors. I give the battering ram an A tier. And the next tool we're gonna talk about is the camera blinder, which looks like a cell phone that's taped to a black light. The camera blinder is used to blind cameras when you shine the light into a camera. I can only think of one time that I actually use this tool, but most times I just shoot the camera and if a guard gets alerted, I just shoot the guard and do the check-in. So I'm just gonna give this flat out F. Moving on from that piece of junk, we're going on to the hacking tool. The hacking device is used on locked vault doors or locked utility rooms that require a key card, which actually skips the step of getting those key cards for those doors, making your heisting runs a lot faster. And 
because of this, I'll give the hacking device an A tier. And the final tool we're talking about is C4. They can blow up locked doors. They'll shatter any glass that's nearby. Also, two are needed to break open a vault door. Luckily, you get four C4s in total. And also, they can be used as hand grenades. And because of all that, and it being a loud option only, I would give it a B tier. And this was a review slash rating of all the tools that are currently in while I'm robber. Like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Comment down below which tools you think are a must buy and which tools you can pass on. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.